Hello and welcome to another installment of Lean Living. Today we're going to tackle a slightly different um, um, subject, uh, slightly arty today. Um, what we're talking about today is mosaics. Okay, so essentially um, the ease of making them. They're quite effective, they're pretty easy to make. The materials that you need for them are very easy, easy to come by, um, they don't cost much. I've actually salvaged most of mine. I've salvaged the um, what I've used in mine. I'm uh, using th two different types of tiles, so a black and a white, which I've managed to just find on on the verge that somebody was throwing out. There's the option also if you were to buy it at a hardware store. If you're finding any broken tiles, then you can always purchase them for a discount because people don't often can't often sell broken tiles. And if you are going to buy them, I don't see why you should have to pay full price for them. Uh, materials that you would need for this is uh, simply some tile clippers. Okay, these are fairly heavy-duty, straight-edged uh, kind of clippers that you would need just in the, the rounding off of some of your tiles and stuff. Uh, when I was uh, first trained to actually do this, I uh, was using a tile cutter, which is essentially a bit like a glass cutter, uh, but slightly thicker, and then you'd like tap. The actual tile into smaller pieces. I found actually the, the slightly easier way to um, to do this would be to um, use our good friend uh, gravity because essentially all you need is your tile and um, smaller pieces. Fantastic! Anyway so uh, what you want to do then afterwards is uh, I found that makes it a little more random the actual kind of shapes of the thing. So what you then do is uh, you get your, your sturdy um, tile clippers there and just give them a slight tap and there you go, smaller pieces. Done. Okay. Uh, aside from that, different materials that you'll need for this. Silicone glue. Okay, so this type here is a slightly cheaper version. I normally go for the shower stuff, which is a uh, kind of like a clear stuff. This stuff is uh, a little bit on the cheap side, and unfortunately, um, even though it does the job, it it does have the tendency to stain fingers and look, make you look rather filthy most of the time. But it it does the job. It's uh, it's what it's what you need essentially. It does the the same kind of thing. Um, I'm also using in my design a uh, mirror, which I've actually managed to find. This you may want to resort to a, um, a, a special kind of like glass cutter. Um, if you were to do it in the same method that I've just done for the tiles there, you may find yourself with millions of little bits which are totally fucking useless for kind of sticking to uh, uh, boards and stuff. So, um, yeah, you probably want to go to either kind of cutting the actual uh, stri strips of, uh, uh, of glass or, or no, not glass, of a uh, mirror into the, the, the right dimensions that you want, tapping them into the actual kind of shapes that you like. Or if you do like me, you just uh, you whack in a bit of newspaper and you give it a tap. Uh, to be on the safe side, it's probably always best to wear, even with the tiles, just to wear glasses, okay? Because uh, there is going to be bits of uh, sharp, like a glass or um, or a tile flying about the place, and the last thing you want is actually like a trip to A&E, uh, just for some simple design project. Uh, so essentially, when you've actually got your board, which is obviously another thing that you actually need, you need to pre-drill the holes probably more rather than less in this case because once the project is finished it can be very heavy uh, so you want to be fixing this on a wall with um, the raw plugs the expanding plugs that can like uh, either fill up you know the actual cavity that you've, pre uh, that you've actually drilled and then quite hold it in and you probably want some quite fairly strong industrial screws to hold that in place because like I said, it is quite heavy after you've actually kind of stuck all these things down. Um, when you're gluing the, the tiles, what, what you, you, you're essentially doing is you're, you're working backwards, whereas opposed to a jigsaw, you're trying to fit the pieces into the actual gaps that are there. You mainly want to be taking, finding the gaps, gluing the pieces into the design which you would have pre-drawn on, to your board, you might just be able to see it there. You can see the rough outline. Now, it's a very simple design. You probably want to stick with that and probably start off small 
and then work onto larger projects uh, after that. Uh, but you're leaving slight gaps in between there, in between the tiles, because you don't want to stick them up too close. It doesn't matter if they bump into each other, essentially, on certain parts, because you, it's, this is pretty random, you see. But uh, essentially, you want the gaps because afterwards, what you're going to use is a grout that um, <coughs> of a contrasting colour to uh, make the the tiles pop out a bit. Okay, so I've got. Uh, Three, three main colours in my one, which would be the white, the black, and the actual silver of the mirror. Uh, so, uh, whereas in the past I've actually used bright coloured tiles and would use a uh, black grout, uh, in this case, uh, because I've got black tiles in there, I'll probably be going with something different, probably a red or possibly a blue, something that's uh, um, different to the actual tiles, so the, the actual design can jump out at you a bit. Okay, um, <coughs> aside from that, you're bordering, you probably want to border the um, design in some kind of um, uh, some other color or, or some, something like that. Um, if, you're, if you're putting it outside, uh, take into account that it is on a wooden uh, backing board, so you may either have to varnish it or use an outdoor paint just so the water doesn't seep into the wood. Uh, because that may cause it to bow and uh, either pop off the actual kind of, like, um, uh, the actual wall or possibly it will just warp in some way it won't look as good okay um, essentially it's pretty much it the, the final part obviously when you actually do your design is to to, um, to to smear on the grout so essentially you want to make some of this up and you just want to just pop, uh, smear it over the actual um, the cut pieces of uh, tile there, uh, and uh, the actual kind of like a mirror as well. Just watch your, your fingers on, along a lot of these things because there's a lot of sharp edges which uh, you may not actually realise it essentially to start off with, but you, the potential for like, cuts and stuff. Um, and then all you have to do is just uh, uh, polish it off with uh, a cloth. I might also advise a little toothbrush, okay, just to actually get it off the actual things there. And then uh, pretty much you're you're all done then. Okay, so I hope that's uh, that's pretty good for you. And uh, yeah, just uh, give me a thumbs up if you think this is of any use. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Okay.